Hi, I'm Sofia, you're watching Paralego, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a crochet wristlet. This is a unique original design and pattern from Paralego, so stay tuned. Supplies list. One reel of 3mm polyester cord, a 4mm and a 2.5mm crochet hook, a zipper, some pins, 6 to 8 stitch markers, two of which in a different color, needle and thread for sewing, a darning needle, a sew on magnetic clasp, a lighter, and a pair of scissors. Start with a 4 mm hook. Make a slip knot, and chain 11 chains really tight. Now locate the second chain from your hook and insert into the bump that's right behind, right there. Place a tight single crochet and use a stitch marker with a distinct color to mark this first stitch. Now insert your hook into the next bump. And place a single crochet. It might be kind of hard because of our tight chain, but we do want our foundation to be really tight and solid. Continue placing one single crochet into each bump until you work the last but one bump. So now you should be left with one final bump. Place a single crochet into this last bump. And mark this stitch with a stitch marker of the common color. Now place two more single crochet into the same stitch. One, two. Pull the tail of your slip knot to close any possible gap and place a stitch marker of the common color to the last of those three stitches. Now place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. Again, it will be hard to insert into our tight foundation, but things will improve from the next round and on. When you reach the ninth stitch, place a single crochet. Mark it with a stitch marker of the second distinct color and place one more single crochet into the same stitch, just one. And this is how we end the first round. Now to move to the next round, remove the stitch marker from the first stitch 
insert your hook into that first stitch and slip stitch. Then chain one, insert into the same stitch, the first stitch of the first round that is, and place a single crochet. Place the stitch marker back to this single crochet, which will be the first stitch of the second round. Now place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the ninth stitch, remove the stitch marker, place one single crochet, place the stitch marker back, and place one more single crochet into the same stitch. Place two single crochet into the next stitch. and that's the second. Remove the next stitch marker and place two single crochet into the same stitch. Place the stitch marker back into the second one. Now place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the ninth stitch, remove the stitch marker, place one single crochet, put the stitch marker back, and place one more single crochet into the same stitch. Place two single crochet into the next stitch. and place one single crochet to the next stitch to finish the round. Just one. Now to start the third round, remove the next stitch marker and slip stitch. Chain one and place the third single crochet of the third round into the same stitch, the one you slip stitched. Put the stitch marker back into this first single crochet, which will be the first stitch of the third round. and place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the ninth stitch, Remove the stitch marker, place a single crochet, 
put the stitch marker back and place one more single crochet into the same stitch. Place one single crochet into the next stitch. Oops. And two single crochet into the following. Place one single crochet into the next stitch. And two single crochet into the following. Remove the stitch marker and place one single crochet into this stitch. Put the stitch marker back and now place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the next stitch marker, remove it, place one single crochet, put the stitch marker back, and place one more single crochet into the same stitch. Place one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the following. Place one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the following. And with that, we finished the third round. To move to the fourth, remove the stitch marker and slip stitch. As usual, begin the fourth round with one chain and place one single crochet into the same stitch. Mark this first single crochet, which will be the first stitch of the fourth round. Now place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the ninth stitch, remove the stitch marker. Place one single crochet into this stitch Put the stitch marker back and place one more single crochet into the same stitch Place one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Place two single crochet into the next stitch. Place one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Place two single crochet into the next stitch. And place one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now 
put the stitch marker back into the last of those two. And as usual, place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the ninth stitch, remove the stitch marker and place two single crochet into the same stitch. Mark the first one with a stitch marker. And then place one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now two single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Two single crochet into the next stitch. And now one single crochet into the next stitch, just one. And with that we finished the fourth round. Remove the next stitch marker and slip stitch to join. And to start the fifth round, chain one and place one single crochet into the same stitch. Put the stitch marker back into this first single crochet. That will be the first stitch of the fifth round. And again place one single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the ninth stitch, remove the stitch marker, place one single crochet into each of the next two stitches, put the stitch marker back into the first one, Now place two single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Two, three. Oops, lost it. That's the third one. Place two single crochet into the next stitch. And place one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Place two single crochet into the next stitch. Remove the next stitch marker and place one single crochet. Put the stitch marker back
and place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the ninth stitch, remove the stitch marker, place one single crochet, and put the stitch marker back. Place one single crochet into the next stitch. And two single crochet into the following. Now place one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. That was one, two, three. Now two single crochet into the next stitch. And one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. I keep losing my loops. One, two, three. Two single crochet into the next stitch. And with that, we finished the fifth round. To move to the sixth one, Remove the next stitch marker and slip stitch. Start the sixth round with a chain and one single crochet into the same stitch. Put the stitch marker into this first single crochet that will be the first stitch of the sixth round. Place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the ninth round, remove the stitch marker Place one single crochet into this stitch Put the stitch marker back and place one more single crochet into the same stitch Place one single crochet into each of the next four stitches that's the second, third, fourth. Now place two single crochet into the next stitch. And four single crochet into the next four stitches. Place two single crochet into the next stitch and four single crochet into the next four stitches, one in each. and put the stitch marker back into the last of those four. Now place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the ninth stitch, remove the stitch marker, place a single crochet, Put the stitch marker back and place one more single crochet into the same stitch. Now place one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Simply set four single crochet into the next four stitches. 
Now place two single crochet into the next stitch. And four single crochet into the next four stitches. One in each. Two single crochet into the next stitch. And place three single crochet into the next three stitches, one in each. And that was the third one. And with that, we finished the sixth round. Remove the next stitch marker and slip stitch to join. To start the seventh round, chain one and place a single crochet into the same stitch. Mark this first single crochet, which will be the first stitch of the seventh round. And as usual, place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the ninth stitch, remove the stitch marker and place two single crochet into the same stitch. Put the stitch marker back into the first one and place one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. Three, oops, four, five. Two single crochet into the next stitch. Five single crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Two single crochet into the next stitch. And five into the next five stitches, one in each. One, two, three, four. Remove the stitch marker to place the last one. Five. And place the stitch marker back into the last of those five stitches. Now place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the ninth stitch, remove the stitch marker, place one single crochet, put the stitch marker back, and place one more single crochet into the same stitch. Then five single crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Two single crochet into the next stitch. and five single crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Two single crochet into the next stitch and four single crochet into the next four stitches, one in each. That was the first, second, third, and the last one, fourth. And with that, we finished the seventh round. Remove the stitch marker and slip stitch to join. Chain one and place one single crochet into the same stitch. Mark this first stitch of the eighth round.
you will work the entire eighth round by placing one single crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. No more increases for this round. Nevertheless, you will make sure to keep your stitch markers in place or simply put each time you remove a stitch marker to place a single crochet, make sure to place this stitch marker back into the same stitch. You will continue like this until the end of the eighth round. When you reach the end of the eighth round, remove the last stitch marker and slip stitch to join. To begin the ninth round, chain one and place one single crochet into the same stitch. Put the stitch marker back and place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the ninth stitch, remove the stitch marker and place two single crochet into the same stitch. You will not place the stitch marker back. Now place one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. and two single crochet into the next stitch. Six single crochet into the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six two single crochet into the next stitch and six single crochet into the next six stitches. That was the first, two, three, four, five. Remove the stitch marker to place the sixth one and six. You will not place the stitch marker back. Now place one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. When you reach the ninth stitch, remove the stitch marker and place two single crochet into the same stitch. Again, you will not place the stitch marker back. Now six single crochet into the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Two single crochet into the next stitch. and six single crochet into the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two single crochet into the next stitch. And five single crochet into the next five stitches. That was a second, three, four, and five. And with that, we finish the ninth round. Remove the last stitch marker and slip stitch to join. This was our last round of increases. Now chain one to start the 10th round and place one single crochet into the same stitch. Before going on with the 10th round, 
It's a good time to weave in the tail at the bottom of your bag. As always, cut the excess and burn the edge. Then you will work the entire 10th round by placing one single crochet into each stitch and in the end you will slip stitch exactly as you did with round 8 without using any stitch markers. You will continue repeating round 8 until you complete the 30th round. When you reach the end of the 30th round, cut your yarn Fasten off, thread the end to your darning needle, insert the needle into the first stitch of the round and bring it in. Now insert into the back loop of the last stitch of the round and again bring the tail in. And finally, weave the tail in the reverse side of the stitches at the inside of the bag. Cut the excess and burn the edge. So here's the body of your bag and the next thing is to fold it along the foundation row, along the line of the 11 original chains. It's important to fold it really nice and neat. Then fold it again in half. With the side of the seam facing out, again make sure to fold neatly and now count six stitches in the upper middle of the outer side of the bag and mark the first and the sixth stitch with stitch markers of the common color. Next, fold the bag towards the opposite side Again, locate the six middle stitches and mark the first and the sixth with two stitch markers of two distinct colors. Unfold once and place the bag with the distinct color markers facing up. The next step is the handle. Fold the end of your yarn, insert into the back loop of the sixth middle stitch and pull the yarn out. Make two tight knots to secure your yarn. Insert into both loops of the same stitch. Place the tail on top of your hook to carry it. Yarn over, pull a loop. And chain one. Insert into the next stitch both loops, place the tail on top of your hook, yarn over, pull a loop, yarn over again and pull through the second loop on your hook. Now you must have two loops on your hook. Insert into the next stitch, bring the tail on top, yarn over, pull a loop, yarn over again and pull through the third loop on your hook. With three loops on your hook, repeat into the next stitch. Now you have four loops on your hook. 
it's important to work these loops kind of loose. Repeat into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull a loop, yarn over again and pull through the fifth loop. And do the same into the last of the six stitches. So now you must have six loops on your hook. Remove the stitch markers. And bring your 2.5 millimeter hook close. Hold it with your free hand, insert into the last loop and slip it off. Repeat with the next loop. Repeat until five of the loops end up on your small hook. So now you have one loop on your bigger hoop and five loops on your small one. And what you're going to do next is you will yarn over and pull through the loop on your bigger hook to return the yarn back to your big hook. And to do that, bring your big hook to the inside of your work, yarn over, and pull through the one loop on your big hook as tight as you can. Now you still have five loops on your small hook and one on your big one, but this one now carries the yarn. So the next thing is you will insert your big hook into the first loop of your small hook and you will slip it on your big hook and you will yarn over and pull through the second loop on your big hook, as in a chain. Now you have two loops on your big hook and four on your small one. Insert into the next loop of your smaller hook and slip it on your big one. Yarn over and chain one. Three loops on your big hook and repeat the same thing. Slip the next loop to your big hook and chain one. And again, slip the next loop on your big hook, yarn over and pull through this loop. And do the same with the last loop on your small hook. Slip it on your big one, yarn over and pull through this last loop. And this is the first round of your handle. For now it looks more like a row, but this will change as we move up. Repeat the exact same steps of the first round. Slip five loops to your small hook. That was the fifth one. Bring your big hook to the inside of your bag and close to your yarn and chain one. Now insert into the first of the five loops of your smaller hook, slip it on your big hook, yarn over and pull through this loop. Slip the next loop on your big hook and again chain one. Repeat until you end up with six loops on your big hook. Just slip each loop to your big hook and chain one. It might be a bit difficult in the beginning, but things will get much easier as you work your way up, faster than you expect. And that's the second round of the handle. Let's watch it one more time.
third round complete and if you look at the back of your work you will see that the join of each round of the handle looks a bit clumsy don't worry because after a few rounds the gap will close magically so this is how you will work your handle and you will repeat the exact same process until you complete the 60th round and your handle is about 35 centimeters long now at the 60th round the gap is closed and your handle looks like a cord. Next, you will attach the end of your handle to the other side of your bag. But before that, make sure it fits your wrist. It looks okay, so let's move on. Lock each of the six loops on your big hook with a stitch marker. Mark the first and the last one with two different distinct colors. This is really important to avoid twisting the end of the handle. When you place the last stitch marker, remove your hook and place your bag with the side with the seam facing up. Next, bring the end of the handle close to your marked stitches. Get your 4 mm hook and insert into the loop that carries the yarn. Remove the stitch marker from this loop and remove the stitch marker from the first stitch from the right. Locate the V under this stitch where you would place a waistcoat stitch. Remove your hook and insert into this V from the inside of your back. Now make sure you folded your handle without twisting it. Insert into the open loop and pull it in. Now yarn over and pull a loop, as in a chain. Remove the stitch marker from the next loop to your right, the second loop. Make sure you remove the right stitch marker. It's easy to lose the order and that's why we have the distinct color markers to make our life easier. Again, insert your hook to the V under the second stitch from the inside of your bag. Remove the stitch marker from the second loop. Insert your hook into the loop and pull it in. Now again, insert into the loop that carries the yarn at the inside of the bag. Yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook as in a single crochet. Repeat what you did to the second loop with the third one. Locate the third loop, counting from left to right. Remove the stitch marker, release your hook, insert into the V under the third stitch from the inside of the bag, make sure not to lose your loops, insert into the third open loop and pull it in, then insert into the loop that carries the yarn at the inside of your bag, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook, as in a single crochet. Repeat the exact same steps until the end of your loops.
And this was the last one. Let's have a look at our seam. I think it looks great. And next, cut your yarn and fasten off. Thread the tail to your darning needle. And weave it in the reverse side of the stitches. Cut the excess and burn the edge. So let's move to the next step and to do that unfold your bag and fold it along the length of the handle. As always fold it nice and neat. It's vertically to the bottom of the bag. The next thing is to attach the zipper, but we will not go through this right now because I don't want to give you a headache. But if you click up in the right corner, you can find one of my previous videos where I'm showing how to sew it with needle, thread and some pins. So this is how your bag should look when you have attached the zipper. And the only thing that's left is to attach the magnetic clasp. And to do that, thread some sewing thread to your needle. Divide the two parts of your clasp. And sew each part on one end of the handle from the inside at the point where it meets the zipper, at the two ends of the zipper. And now that we're done with the clasp, it's time for some magic. Unzip the bag and fold it along the bottom and vertically to the handle. Now gently press the sides to join and pull the zipper to close. Press the middle of the zipper to fold it in half and bring the two parts of the magnetic clasp together. And it's ready. My beloved viewers, thank you so much for staying. If you like what you watch, give us a thumbs up, make a comment and share. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click on the bell to get notice for new videos. Visit paraligo.com for written instructions of this bag and many more. Till next time, take care. Mwah.